In this lesson, we're going to talk about balancing a load below the hook point. Making a safe lift should be level. The question is, where do I put the hook and how do I connect it to the load? The center of gravity of this load may not be directly between the two hook points. As we can see on this model drawing, the left hand side of this has more mass than the right hand side. So the center of gravity will be somewhere to the left of the center. So if I were to connect this to a hook over there and over here and I were to make this lift there are some principles that we want to look at when I do a lift that makes it safe. The first principle is when starting to lift an object, always lift slowly. This will give us an idea of how the object is lifting and make sure the connections are correct. The second principle is do not jerk the load quickly. This causes additional stress on the lifting devices and it does not give the operator an opportunity to react. And the third principle is watch if the load is lifting level. So in other words we want to see if one end is raising before the other end and we will take action accordingly. In this example if we were to raise this load, the right hand end would raise first and the left hand would stay on the ground or on the where the load is resting. In that case we would need to set the load down in order to change the connections to make the load lift level. The question is, what do I need to do to make this connect and lift correctly? If the right hand end raises first, that means that the center of gravity, and I'm just going to make that as a mark with an X in it there, the center of gravity is somewhere between the hook point and the end that did not lift up. The one that didn't raise off the ground. That means we need to do something different with our connections here. Since our hook point was in the center of this load above the two connection points and the left hand side did not raise, we need to move the hook toward the end that did not raise first. And this sometimes simply means shortening the connection that is made to that end and keeping the other connection still the same. If we shorten this strap or get one that is smaller in length, it brings the hook point more directly above the center of gravity or the balancing point. So in this case we would follow our three steps again to lift the object slowly, not to jerk it quickly, and then we would see if it lifts level when we just slowly start to lift this up.
when the hook point is directly above the center of gravity or the balancing point, the load will lift evenly. One end may raise just slightly before the other one, but when I make this lift, it will be a level lift and it will be a safe lift because we can set the load down in the same manner we picked it up. If it were not level, we go to set that load down, it's going to have all of the weight on that one corner and we don't want that to happen as well. So in reviewing this, we always want to make a lift with the load being level. The hook point and the center of gravity need to be vertically in line with each other and that will allow this load to lift level and safely. We said that we always need to start out by lifting slowly. Don't jerk the load up. That causes extra forces. And then we just plainly need to look at the way the load is lifting. If the one load end lifts before the other one, which way do we need to move the hook? toward the end that did not raise from the ground first. And usually that means shortening that side connection of that sling.